哎，这是新代谢的 Mac 跟 another video， 然后这里我被 talking about 啊、uh, ，HDB flats， and you know even even the even the sellers in Singapore are also mediocre. I mean, you got to a point maybe the maximum amount a person could earn is roughly about say five or six thousand dollars as an accountant. It depends on the position that. It really depends on the position that person works, but as 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 with every hefty commitment, like for example, family have be really having kids or whatsoever, being single when you hit thirty five, you want to buy a house. You need to remember this: that buying a house, be it a bungalow, condominium, or maybe a HDB flat, it is a hefty commitment. If you're not working, if you're not working. And then you don't draw some some salary out from it to pay off your HDB loan, your housing loan, or maybe you have taken some housing loan from the financial institution, like for example a bank. Uh, if you if you don't pay for the housing instalments on time, I don't know if there's any interest whatsoever, right? Uh, basically. Any could be any could be any institution. Maybe the bank or HDB might repossess your flat or ask you to downgrade. Just it's a hefty commitment. I know it's I know houses are really expensive in Singapore. But if you're like me, like for example, my dad, he used proceeds from the unlock sale to buy this current house that my whole family is staying in. Okay, so yes. He's he's still left with about say fifty thousand dollars to pay for this current town flat. So he did so in like twenty ten twenty eleven. So he used that cash on hand to pay the whole cost off, and we're free, and we're free of the hassle to pay off the the housing instalments. I mean he did so. Without using his CPF, obviously he did the investments and stuff. But he's, but he's like doing due diligence to to invest and then uh build build up the finances so my dad and my mom can comfortably retire. So another thing that uh I I want to speak about is uh. Renovation costs and also、uh, appliances you have to buy. Not to mention that also the、uh, electrical installation work. I mean, these things also cost money though. But、uh, if it's a must to buy appliances, maybe say furniture. Maybe you want to buy furniture whatsoever. Don't buy expensive ones, please. Maybe say buy cheap ones or whatsoever. Don't have these so expensive, you know. And then air conditioning, you know, uh, it's a must. Maybe maybe it's a must, ah, but try not to say, uh, let the whole house have be under air conditioning. I bet it will be a hefty cost to, to 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 pay off the insurance for the air conditioning. Because if the air conditioner breaks down, you don't buy insurance. Obviously, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble trying to figure out who who to who to who. To, who Which technician to to get to, which technician to get to repair the air conditioning or maybe your appliances like for example your TV, your fridge, your microwave oven, your dishwashing machine. You know,、uh, there's also the、uh, washing machine. You know, sometimes it may break down. It may it may break down due to some problems. You know, and the product is new. Maybe it's life cycle. Like one or two years, it might just break down, and then, and then you have to tell the technician, you have to call for support to source out all the parts to tell the technician to go to your house and repair the the, the, the appliance itself. So you might have to consider like if you're buying some insurance, you, you might want to buy those cheap ones for your appliances. And then、uh, this is another thing you need to buy insurance for your flat as well. So. If you want to buy insurance for a flat, I it depends. Ah,、uh, I mean it could be, it could be a fault. I mean it could be many things that will cause a fault. I mean normally if 
it's probably due to an electrical fault, electrical installation fault there, that causes a fire within the house, or maybe same thing, maybe say something like, for example, the the gas stove had something wrong, uh, fire broke out, fire broke out, burned down the whole house. There you have to have, there you have to have insurance. That's the first thing you definitely you need for your house itself. In order to survive so in case of the house gets burnt 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 down uh insurance will pay you back some some amount it really depends on the insurance company if they'll if how it depends on how much they want to pay for your loss uh, your house loss so it could be a lot this really, you know, i i know it's i know like like being single i got some of my friends who actually bought a, their own house they had to pay, you know, housing installments, renovation costs, appliances by installments. I know it's not easy, yeah, but you have to use a CPF to pay for the housing installments, which is rather tedious. And then the, the worst part is that uh, once you use your CPF savings to pay off the house installments, you have nothing left to <laughs> retire, <laughs> which is a bad thing. So if you're single like me, I, I have my own house that my dad will, of course, will transfer this house to me when when he's gone when he passes away obviously i get to own the house i mean i'm a lucky guy myself i mean if let's say if you want to get married uh be single buy a house if you can't commit to that please don't buy a house i know it's rather expensive but i, th I think it's the most logical way to see this so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching i'll, I'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much